just want to tell you we're here with you. Um, my family, especially because we're going through it too. We are with you. We are rocking with you. We are guiding with you. We are fighting with you. We are praying with you. We're laughing with you. We're crying with you. We are grieving with you. Let God do this or yield the sword of vengeance for you and control this battle and know that this too shall pass. We'll make it through it. All right. Let's get cracking, y'all. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready, 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 Freddie, Eddie. Hold on. I can see y'all better. And I can see y'all better. Good, good, good. All right. So, let's get started, auntie. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my darling sugar plums. Honey babies, all of that. All right. So, today we are still in our how to repurpose your holiday meal roll or week. So, what we are doing is taking our food or leftovers from Thanksgiving and creating brand new meals out of it. Yesterday, we made a turkey and dressing stuffing croquette. So that, and I say dressing and stuffing because mine was a mixture of dressing and stuffing. This does add a few pounds on you. Goodness, camera adds significant pounds on you. I ain't this big, y'all. I'm, I'm 130 pounds right now, but my belly ain't that. It looks big. I don't know what the hell going on. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm working on it, though. I'm working on it. So we did that yesterday, um, and we made a Mai Tai yesterday using tequila, and we used, sorry, there we go, we used some dark rum. Today, my loves, we are going to be making, well, first of all, I need to have a glass of wine, so let me not even bullshit you. Let's go ahead and start with that, Okay. I want a big glass or a little glass. Oh Lord, the steam from the, the the steam from the the uh, dishwasher was hitting my no no. It would it would make me look like I peed on myself. <laughs> All right, so um okay. So let me get my wine. Today we are going to make a pina colada. We are going now. You can make a rum pina colada, which is typically how pina colada is made. Or you can make a vodka pina colada, which will be the same ingredients, just switch to alcohol. So, uh, mm, I feel better about life. Are we going to dress the cup? What do y'all think? Do you think we should dress the cup? I think we should dress the cup. We all, and I don't have any lemon, like slices, to make it look all pretty and shit. Um, stuff I mean stuff. Oh wait, I might. Oh no, dag of it. Well, you know what? We'll make it. We'll still make it look party. We'll still. We're gonna go ahead and dress it. But we're gonna switch it up. What up, Mr. Max Styles? Hey y'all. That is one of our um, Navy military members. Thank him for his service. Currently stationed overseas. I don't remember. I think Italy this time. I, he goes so many damn places. Um, but thank you for your service. I miss you. He is also the author. Um, he is also an author. Tell me the name of the book again, Mac. Um, and I'll make sure you guys get the information on that. And he is a dear friend of mine who I truly love. And I know next time he is back in my city, if he doesn't call me, I'm going to fuck him up. I'm sorry. I had to say it like that, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to curse a little bit. Listen, Everybody, I was married to the Navy, okay? So y'all got to excuse my uh, vernacular. I'm a little bit crass at times, a little bit blunt at times. Don't judge me, okay? Uh, okay, you come back Saturday to what, what city and state, though, hunty? That didn't help me. They just told me you come back. What city and state? You coming to Texas to finally be with your girl? Don't get me excited. I Listen. Sex, chicken, and cocoa butter. That's right. All right. So here, YouTube, let me type the name of this book in for you guys so you guys have it. It is, I am not typing. Hold on, book of face. Sex, chicken, and cocoa butter by Max Styles. 
by my friend. He's a good friend of mine. Look the book up. Uh, why the hell? Why? Why do we? Uh, I don't want. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight with you. Not. Not. Not today. Not. Not today. Uh, we gonna hold on. Hold, hold on. Just. Just hold on. Hold. Hold on. All right. So we're gonna do. Do you like peanut butter? Eh. Alice H. No, I'm just playing. So, I am, as you can see me, opening some crushed pineapple. Pina colada, one of the staple parts to it is, well, two staple parts, other than the liquor, is the coconut milk and pineapple juice. Dun, dun, dun. We are going to use the crushed pineapple as our garnish. So, I don't have to put, I don't have, because y'all know normally I have a whole pineapple where I, like, do a slice, put it on the side, make it look all party. I don't have that this time, and I didn't go to the store. I ain't even about to lie to you, child. So hold on. Let me get some ice. And I'm going to go ahead and wet our rim. Get it ready. We did a little limon powder and sugar. So a little lime and sugar mixture, and that's what we're going to dress the glass with. I'm sure it won't. The best part about it is you a white boy. Rock, walk, uh, he is a white boy, my friend. And I say that lovingly, so don't nobody judge me. He is a white boy writing about cocoa butter. Now, tell me that shit's not. Um, tell me that that just really. How many white boys y'all don't know about cocoa butter unless they were a black girl? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm not clowning, but I'm clowning. I'm not clowning. A little bit. Smidget. A, a little smidget of a bit. A smidgen of a little bit. Mm. Don't be mad at me, baby. I love you. I love you. All right, so let me hit our cup. I didn't grab the line this time. Don't even ask me why. Being lazy, I'm going to get us some ice in here. If I can get to it. No, that's not what I want to do. Thank you. I wanted to put some at the bottom. You you are a red bone at heart. And that's why you fell in love with me when we first met Dookie Wookie. And that's why we have been able to be friends all these years. And it's been a lot of years, boo. A lot. Alright. So, juice and all, I'm going to take a tablespoon I meant to put that in there first, and I'm still forgetting to dress my rim. Hold on, y'all. I have got to. I'm going to have to flip this onto a plate. Talking to Matt. See, he makes me lose my train of thought. Okay, you just going to sit in there? Okay, I guess it's just going to sit in there. That's fine. Now it falls out right onto the damn plate. Oh, my gosh. And she's gonna get on there. Just become part of the come on. All right. All right, there we go. That worked. Well, I got the ice out, so at least I can put my tablespoon in the bottom like I had intended. Now we're gonna put our ice on back in here. All right. My bag, y'all, my handy dandy towel. All right. Now, I am cheating. I am cheating, okay? This is a pre-made, it's called Mr. and Mrs. T. It is a pre-made pina colada mix. It literally already has your coconut milk. Oh, shit, my bad. Sorry, my bad. It literally already has your coconut milk in it and your pineapple. But me being, me being ain't nothing but a mom, a rat, rat, mom. No, I'm just playing. Everybody got a little hoochie in them. Don't nobody judge nobody. It don't look good on you to be judging nobody. Hold, hold up. Now, we are going to, because I want to be a little bit extra. I am going to do a little vodka to go with our run to make our pina colada. So I'm going to do about an ounce of both. Trust me, I got so many more vodkas in this thing, because that's my favorite drink. So we are going to pour an ounce of that. I am going to pour an ounce of rum. Okay. Now, I am also cheating a little bit more. 
This is a pre-made, a fully pre-made. It has an alcohol content to it. Okay, it has an alcohol content to it. It's supposed to be like 13%. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go ahead and add about an ounce of that. Well, a little less than an ounce. Because I still want to use our actual mix. And I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up a little bit. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your food at. Oh, I don't own the rights to that Facebook nor YouTube, so don't judge me. Oh, that kind of looks like. Never mind. I won't. Never mind. I am not going to tell you what it looks like. We want two to three ounces of this because you really want it to have a creamy. I really am not going to tell y'all what it looks like. I'm I'm pretty sure you'll figure it out on your own. Just to give it just a smidgen more. All right. And to make it even prettier, we are going to just add some more pineapple. Give it that really pretty color. All right. And I'm going to move this to the side. We're going to garnish it with a lime. Voila. Our pina colada. Do you like pina colada? Hey, hey. All right. Holla, holla. And I'm not a big fan of pina colada, but I drink it every now. I am, who said that? Thank you, Joseph, but I'm not, but I, oh, thank you. He just made me feel special. He said I'm pretty. Uh, okay, so y'all ready? I'm put my mouth on. Oh, you look so pretty, Afro girl. Come show these people your pretty hair. Okay, ready? 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 Mm. Hello. Oh, yeah. Look at my daughter here. I told her to take it down because we got to redo it so she had to wash it. Look at all this. This girl got crazy hair. Now go wash it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We're going to have fun with this one. I know it didn't look right. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Mm. I'm trying to get it down to the point where I can bottoms up because I may have filled it up to the top. And I don't want it to spill everywhere. So let's move it. So this side is very pretty though. Tastes very good too. But, and this is the reason I don't too much deal with pina colada. It's sweet. This bitter. I'm not a big sweet girl. So let, let hold on. Matter of fact, shots up. You right. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me just hit that. All right. Let's do this. One, two, three. To you, solo, solo. Ooh. All right. Sorry, my bad. Solo. Mm. 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 All right, so today what we're doing is extremely simple. Um, let me wash my hands and show you guys. So we, like I said, we did our turkey croquette yesterday, right? Today, my booty looks big. Hey, my booty looks big. Hey, no, stop. Um, today we are... <laughs> Today we are going to do, since it's fairly cold out here, it's been, I'm in San Antonio, Texas, and today I want to say it was about 60 some degrees, which is cold for me. I don't like cold. I love the heat very much. So, so um, what better than cold weather than to do a soup, right? So we're doing a turkey soup, and I am going to make a... Um, Kind of a pesto to go on a French bread to put in the oven to eat with the turkey and potato soup. Okay. So I'm preheat my oven. 325 normal preheat. And let that go ahead and heat up and get ready for the bread. 
For my soup, of course, you need your turkey. So hold on, let me grab that. This poor little turkey ain't gonna make it, baby. That's good, it ain't gonna make it. All I do is keep eating it. That's all I do. All right. This is all bone. I'm running out of places for the meat. Hmm. Let me see. See, now we start to run out the damn meat. Oh, that's bone. Is that meat? When I can rip it, I rip it. That's bone. Wait. All right. Hold on. Come on. Is that meat? That's bone. And that's meat. Okay. Yeah, we we running out of places for our meat, but that's okay. We're going to get all the meat we can get off of it. Damn. Come here. Ah. Give me some more meat. Okay. That should be enough because I'm not making a huge one because it's just me and my kids. That's some bone for the dog. Okay. Eh. Lily, before you go shower, give this to Marsh. Uh, my bad, Lily. I'm coming. Just like I'm coming, Mom. That's teenage shit, boy. I swear I ain't ready for it. Give that to Marsh. All right. With our last little bit left, put this back in. Oh, sorry. Go shower and have a good one, and I'll see you for dinner. Okay. So I know it looks like I got a lot of turkey left. I literally do not. The bulk of that is bone, which is crazy. Um, and that's going to wind up going to the dog because I'm not going to do anything with the bone. He eats very good, but y'all know that already. So what you're going to need? Celery. I'm gonna put about three stalks in because I really like celery. You put about as much as you like. Two to four cups, depending on how big you want it. How big, how much. That didn't sound right. How much, how big, how much, whatever. Depending on how much soup you want, dictate it or dictates how much broth you're gonna use. I'm gonna do two cups of broth, because I'm, again, I'm not making a huge one, and I'm gonna do a cup of water. Go hand in hand. I'm not gonna mirror the two cups of broth, but I am gonna add a cup of water. So hold on, let me go ahead and put this over in here. Now, typically, a two-pound container like that um, is about four cups of broth. I have already used half of that. So, basically, I've already used two cups out of there. So, I only did the other half. That's another two cups. I'm going to go ahead and add a cup of water to that and let that boil on a medium to medium-high heat. Now... As it starts to condense, I might add another cup of water. Um, I'm not going to add a whole bunch of broth, and I'm using chicken broth or vegetable broth. You know, whichever one. I wouldn't say use beef. I would definitely stick with chicken or vegetable. Um, I'm going to add some more, but broth teams, tends to be very savory and salty, so you got to be kind of cautious about how much you use. Okay. I am also utilizing some baby carrots because my kid, I like carrots. I love carrots. My kids love carrots. I'm utilizing the baby carrots because it's less work. I ain't got to do the peeling and shit like that. Let me be 100 with you. I work smarter, not harder. Y'all motherfuckers work as hard as you want to. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm a realist, okay? If I can dumb this down, I will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that liquor's starting to settle in now, baby. Hey, cuz. My little shot caller, how you do? Ooh, hold on. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, my darlings, we got Riot, the comedian, a.k.a. R.J. Heard in the building. He's over here on YouTube this time and sit over there with all of you guys on Facebook. Um, you can find him on YouTube as Riot, the comedian. You can find him on the Book of Face as R.J. Heard. You can find him on uh, TikTok as RJ Heard too, as well, if I'm correct. Uh, and Instagram. So just look him up. One of the baddest comedians in the game. I absolutely love him. He makes me laugh all the time. I, uh, uh, the name of that drink is a pina colada. However, we switched it up. Sorry, they're asking about the drink. Hold. Uh, um, we switched it up. The typical pina colada is coconut pineapple juice and simple syrup and uh rum we did a hey 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 hi hi we did a combination of rum and vodka and we did a um mrs t ms and mr t pina colada mix oops wrong way my bad premix so y'all can see it again premix you buy it in your local grocery store. Uh, and we did a Texas crafted um, pina colada that already has 13% alcohol in it, 13.9% alcohol in it as well. So it just gives it that extra punch, extra bite. And baby, I'm drinking it and having a good time drinking it. You feel me? Hey, hey, Miss Smith, how are you? Hi, Dean. So this is should be a fairly short show today. We shouldn't even hit the hour mark, to be honest. Maybe 45 minutes, and that's due to conversation. Other than that, it should move fairly quickly. And I would like to make it move fairly quickly, as even the center goes to Bible study, and I have virtual Bible study. <laughs> All right, so what y'all seen me doing? Oh, he drinking? The comedian's drinking tonight, y'all? Okay. What you drinking? What are y'all drinking? I know what I'm drinking. Y'all know what I'm drinking. I'm drinking that and wine and taking shots. What, what, what the hell are you drinking? And what the hell are you drinking? And you, 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 and you. Mm. I got to watch the way I put it in my mouth. I, I just gave away my age. Now, if you don't know what the hell I was saying right there, that was on you. I That was on you. You should have known what I was saying. Uh the family is good. Yesterday was my beautiful queen of a mother's 57th birthday. Oh, my God. And she looks better every daggum day. It is absolutely crazy. She is still fighting her fight with um, COVID. So y'all keep my mama in your prayers. Um, you know, daily she fights it. She did about three weeks quarantined and went back, retested. And according to the CDC, um, once we test positive, it stays in our system for 90 days, but we are not infectious technically after the 14 day period. But she uh, tested positive again and she, you know, her symptoms come and go. So we're just being mindful, keeping an eye on her, but we helped her enjoy an amazing birthday. Oh, Cran and Vodka. He's on Cran and Vodka, y'all. Uh, oh, she does look beautiful. And, uh, she, she looks amazing. She is the type of woman I strive to look like. like Musical puffs. Um, RJ, the riot, the comedian. He is. Sorry, I'm eating our meat. My bad. Um, he is drinking Cran and Vodka. All right. So we got our celery and carrots going ahead. And chop them up, right? Let me show y'all. This is a I like this is a potato and a turkey soup. Thank you very much for the prayers. This is a potato and turkey soup. Now you can choose whatever the hell potatoes you want. I like red potatoes. Me and my family eat a lot of red potatoes. I buy them by the 10 pound um sacks. So all I'm doing, just so y'all can see. You see these little spuds, the little eyes, I call them? I'm using a spoon 
just to pop them off. I'm not cooking them with the little spud part or the little eyeball. Y'all ready to take a shot? Well, we'll, we'll wait for Tanya. She's going to call the shots. So whenever she say do it, we're going to do the shot, but just be ready. Have your, uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Heard. I appreciate that greatly. And I'm sure my mother does. She's resting right now. I took her some, she thinks she might have a sinus infection. So I took her some, um, Sudafed and orange juice and, um, ginger ale and stuff. Drop that off. Have to make sure mommy's good. You know, we love the mommy. We love the mommy. Um, so I am using the spoon to pop those out quickly. Alicia Bonita? Yes, ma'am. What? Are you not in the Because your brothers? Yes, and because of what? Okay, close. cut that blind. Or uh, close that blind. Don't cut the blind shit. I have to pay for it. Yeah, and make sure the door is locked. And let's go ahead and put the alarm on the house. All right. So, and I don't even know if I'm going to use all of these potatoes. Matter of fact, that is situational. So, I'm going to sit this one down. We're going to start with these three. We're going to go from there. Now, we need to get these rinsed and off in this oven, or off in this soup. So, we are going to cube these or dice these um, however you would like to dice them, however big. That's up to you. Um, are you ready to do shot time? Okay, she said shot. Let's go ahead and get it. All right, hold on. Let me just cut this piece right here, Tanya. You ready, Mr. Hurt? You ready, ready, ready? Ready for the edit, edit. I got my wine back up. Bow. Let me get it. You see me getting it? You smell me. You smell me, my nigga. You smell me. No, I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> I'm being silly. We finally finished the dark run. Ding, 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 ding. I'm being silly. All right. All right. So, two. Thank you, Miss Ms. Bechan, for calling our shots. We are going to do this shot, too. Mr. King, AK, King Michael, um, we are uh, one of my best friends. We are doing this, too. Um, Mr. Timothy, a.k.a. Cheerio, a.k.a. the baddest barber in San Antonio, Texas. We are doing this to Mr. Alex Batchan, a.k.a. my snuggly puff, my cousin, my love. And last but not least, we are doing this to and for Mr. Damien Lamar Daniels, um, my everything worldwide, um, who I greatly and deeply miss and love and am thankful. All these men have touched my life and my business and my children's lives and my family's lives in ways that you guys couldn't even imagine. So to them, we say salute, 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 till I see you guys again. Mm. 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 All right, there we go. There we go. Now, I am putting, I'm cutting my potato so it can go in the same time as the celery and these carrots. Primarily because this red potato is going to cook uh, relatively quickly, depending on the size of dices you make. And because, um, I don't like my carrot and celery to get overly mushy. I like a little bit of texture, a little bit of crunch. I like something in my mouth. All right. Y'all understood that, so we'll leave that where it's at. Okay. 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 I still can't do it. All right, so that way y'all can see me when I head over here because y'all can see, see me. All right, so now I am using my favorite pot ever. Hold on, I will show you. I will show you. I will show you, show you, show you. My beautiful handy dandy cast 
iron Dutch oven, which is, it's a big ass pot, but it, I mean, it's also a baking device. It's, it's everything. It's a, it's a Dutch oven. It's a Dutch oven. I love it. It's by Emeril Lagasse. It is his creation. And oh my God, it is phenomenal. I love cooking with it. I, I love using it. Um, I am going to include in the description ze below. Ze below the description ze below. Eh, 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 eh. I am going to include the link where you can purchase it. Go online, get it. With my link, you get like 10% off. You get it affordable. And usually that Dutch oven is about $60, $70. It is great. It already comes seasoned. Man, I'm talking about like it is amazing. Y'all see me cook with it all the time. There's also a Rachel uh, Rachel Ray and um, Barefoot Contessa, but this is not who I'm thinking of. Um, okay, I'll make sure I put the link up for you guys. Um, and all y'all who want to get them, hit the link so you can get it discounted. Hit the link so you can get it discounted. But... Uh, What's her name? Barefoot contest. Uh, uh, the Southern Chef. Uh, uh, who am I thinking of? Who? She was a country singer, and I forgot her name just that fast. And she's pretty decent. What is her name? Um, I can't. Give me a sec. It'll come to me. Like, watch. It'll be towards the end of this episode, but it'll pop up. Um, but it is her. She also has a line, and uh. They are good, they're affordable, but they have like painted the cast iron. I believe they have a ceramic coating up around them. So they painted the cast iron and it, I just, I like my cast iron to be cast iron. Black, heavy, strong, seasoned, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, oh my God, it's head. the pioneer woman. Thank you, thank you, thank you, the pioneer woman. I wish I'd call her Miss Tanya Betsy and help me out with that. Thank you. And Paula Dean, Miss Clayton, help me out with that. And we got Mr. Rico Armstrong. Give him shout outs and accolades and thank yous and love. And my nipples got hard just as soon as I said your name and head's name because uh, Mr. Rico Armstrong, he is our fighter fighter, EMT, paramedic out of Memphis, Tennessee. Um, if you happen to be in Atlanta in December, you might run into him. He's just that damn dope. You have beautiful hair, baby. Mommy's worked very hard to keep your hair, you know. Uh, uh, out of Memphis, Tennessee, he does everything, baby. He runs in there with the shirt off. No, he, he literally has to wear his his gear. <laughs> if you guys have ever seen, like, Station... What's that one we watch, Lily? Station 19. Station 19 or Chicago Fire. That is... Um, Mr. Rico Armstrong, baby. Yes, they wear that gear, but when they come outside of it, that's all I'm gonna say about it. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Look real, real good. You know what I'm saying? You might run into him. I might put that out there. You might run into him in Atlanta, Georgia. But if not, check him out in Memphis, Tennessee. Go by um Rico, you're gonna have to tell me the actual firehouse. Go by there. Give them some love. Show them your appreciation. Just tell them thank you for the job that they do. You know what I'm saying? It is shot time again per Miss Batch and our shot caller for the evening. So I'm about to get ready to pour up. And, uh, oh, we got head. Hi, head. I just, I like, I like saying your name, baby. He know I like saying the name. He do. Say my name. No, let me stop. Because mm -mm. if I say it, we're going to get in trouble. Facebook, YouTube. I do not own the rights to anything you hear me halfway humming on this show. One, because I could sing back in the day. I can't sing no more. I spent years smoking. But I am three months into non-smoking. Oh, don't I get some thumbs up for that? What the hell? Like, right. and get some. That Nicoderm pack. I'm, I'm eating our meat. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm eating your meat. Yes. Yes. No, I'm just playing. I'm sorry. I didn't do that. Y'all didn't see me do that. Um, that Nicoderm patch is astonishing. I legit thought it was going to be a joke. 
I will endorse them all day long. That I literally only had to do three weeks out of the month, and I and on which is step one. I didn't even have to go to step two, and I haven't smoked since. So I am doing great. Thank you. Ah, uh, I appreciate that. And I'm gonna shut the hell up because I shouldn't have been smoking anyway. But I started smoking um, when I was. 14, 15, when my, uh, when my cousin, who was also my little brother, Dewanchi, uh, passed away. So that was a traumatic time for me. And, and then it seemed like there were a bunch of more traumatic times to follow. And I just kept with it. Except for when I was pregnant. I didn't smoke or drink while I was pregnant. Boy, y'all ass. All right. I'm going to do the shot. Thank you. You used, I, I was looking at um, Chantix, but isn't that the one you got to get like a prescription for? I think so. And listen, baby, the VA is back up as heck right now with COVID, with, with, with the situation going on. Mm -mm. I wouldn't, mm -mm. Mm -mm. waiting on the VA. I wouldn't have been able to get Chantix till 2021. And I still be talking to y'all like this right here. I'd have been like, hello. How you doing? Y'all don't want to hear no girl sound like that. I'm already raspy, naturally. Y'all don't want to hear me get on here like that. Like, that's just, it's not sexy, okay? It ain't sexy, okay? All right. So as our, and literally, our celery and carrots are boiling, we have them on a medium-high heat. We are doing excellent there oh so we're about to season it um but let's go ahead and do this shot y'all ready oh you ready you ready i know how to dance i'll be messing with y'all when i be doing goofy shit i'm a goofy person so like stop don't just stop just stop don't judge me just stop i'm a naturally goof i am a goofy goober like spongebob let's go ahead and take this shot my daughter laughed at me. She, I think she's shocked that I actually know that part of SpongeBob. Who knows? Ain't no telling. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put a little pineapple in there. I'm feeling a little saucy. And this is to me hopefully getting the deal of sponsorship with Lowry McCormick. Lowry's McCormick. I am working on um, trying to... Uh, secure a sponsorship deal with them because you know we use their products all the time. So here's to fingers crossed that happening for you all, for you all, for we all, hee haw at the drunken Puerto Rican chef. <laughs> all right, let's go. Ready? Uptown to you, downtown to me, all the way around. Just us three. Let's go. Boy, man. Mm. Oh. oh, Lord. Mm. Mm hmm So, uh, I got so many emails. You saw me patting it. I, girl, I had a... Oh, I had to pat it down because I was like, yo. Uh, I got so many emails about me. Uh, thank you, Jay. Shot, 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 shot. Everybody. Hey, no, stop. We're stopping. We're all stopping. We're stop. I don't own the rights. The book of face. I know. I know. But I had to pat that one out. That, that came from the core. That was in my spirit, my soul, in my back, my neck, my neck and my back. My neck and my back, my foot and my ankle. Um, about me, oh, okay. Sorry, Jay messed with me when he started talking about shots. I, all I heard was a little John in my head. I was about to twerk with, pop with, it, lean over. Okay, stop. I see this would no. Okay, what was I saying? Hey, Mr. Bell. Hey, 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 <laughs> uh, Mr. Austin, mess, he messing with me. He messy. Um, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh about me being natural y'all really like when i look like shit on camera like y'all are okay with this 
It's bad enough it adds 10 pounds. It adds it everywhere. I know this don't look right. Leave me alone. I'm just saying. It literally, I look big on camera. Like, I look big. I, I, it, it make everything look big. Don't believe the, with, with the items, it, the reflections in the camera may not be something like that. What's it say on your mirror? The, the reflection in the mirror may not be uh, the same size or something like that. Don't, don't believe it. Don't believe it. I'm just telling you now. I'm still a little girl. I'm 130 pounds and five foot two inches. I'm a little, little thick girl. Look, 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 look. Thick girl. I'm a little, little, little thick girl. Low. And that was not me making fun of nobody. That was well, that was me making fun of somebody, but nobody in particular. I was just trying to get my country accent on for all y'all country people. I love you. Don't be mad at me. I love we're gonna go ahead and put this uh uh chicken in, in the pot and I'm gonna turn y'all because I'm gonna turn so I'm turning y'all away from them because they can see me when I go to the stove. You guys can't when you're face that way, okay? So Y'all can still see me. Oh, yeah. Objects may appear appear bigger than they are. <laughs> Objects may appear bigger than they are. Mr. Austin on YouTube helped us out with that. Thank you. So that's what they say. And, and so, yes, that's, that's what he said. 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 So, all right. We added our chicken. Now... The fun part about this is we got 15 minutes left in the show. Yes, 15 minutes left in the show. We're going to chop an onion real quick um, and put that in there last, and then we're going to seal the Dutch oven and let it cook for about the last 15 minutes, get everything nice and tender, and we'll go ahead and plate our bowl. But in the process, we're going to season and get our bread into the oven. So before I turn y'all back around, before we cut the onion and before we do the bread, we're going to season. Let me show you guys what we're doing it with. Okay, you need a little onion powder and cumin, okay? And I could not find my Lowry's McCormick of either one of these, so we're using the Great Value brand, which is Walmart. It's fine. It's good for, let me tell you what, for a single parent, it is right within your budget, and so can Lowry's McCormick be, depending on which item you use. I'm not going to lie. Being a single parent, depending on your budget, if your budget is on the lower middle side, then sometimes the off-brand helps. But if your budget is a little bit more affordable and you can do just a little bit more, then springing for the actual Lowry's and McCormick brand is a lot more helpful. But um, to each their own, we are also using a combination of their grinders and their organics and their regular. So we are using the coriander and the red pepper. So you can see this is the organic and this is the regular. This is organic, coriander, and regular. The reason I use the organic coriander is because it's, it's just that much fresher. I don't know the flavor, the aroma, the taste. It's just, it's just good. Now, I'm using about a tablespoon, a teaspoon, excuse me, of the red pepper because if your family don't, my family is spicy, but I had already started my broth, so I already have a tablespoon of that in there of uh, red pepper. So I use technically a tablespoon and a teaspoon of the red pepper. Oh, my boo. Um, I will inbox you after the show. Yes, ma'am. Everything else that I am using, we are using a tablespoon, a teaspoon of, okay? We are using, now, no, we're not. This is cloves. You need one whole clove. This is ground thyme. One clove. One. Don't go over one. It's like, you know, when you when you was a kid, right? And you used to stab the ham. Damn, I got one open. Where is it at? Um, when you was a kid and you used to stab the ham full of these, did y'all not do that? I did. I mean, I did. Y'all may not have. I did. My grandmother... One of the people who taught me how to cook before going to school, and she was very what up, what up? She was very big on me learning. Um, so I am using the basil grinder and the pink Himalayan salt grinder. Okay, basil grinder, pink Himalayan salt grinder. You want about two to three turns of both. One, two, 
pink Himalayan salt, I'm only doing two. My basil grinder, I'm doing about three full turns. Put that on in there. And last but not least, I'm going to use a teaspoon of garlic salt. Hey, hey, Mr. McGee. Hey, hey, hey. A teaspoon of garlic salt, okay? Go ahead and put that on in there. Season it. Just sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, bitch. Sprinkle. Sprinkle, okay? Don't, don't, don't go too far. Chill the hell out. Hold up. Stir that together. Now, we've also put bay leaf. Two bay leaf in here, okay? Now... Oh my God, so wonderful. If for health reasons, you would like to add some turmeric, about a, about a, roughly about a, a teaspoon. Now, we are going to get ready to get our bread in the oven because it's only been about five minutes. I'm gonna drink. I know you're about to call shots. Let me grab my onion so I can get that off in the pot. And with it sealed, so I can finish cooking. Hold on. All right. So mine is a little bit chunky, and I like my soup to have a little bit more juice. So I am going to put some more chicken broth. I'm all out of my. What do you call it? My uh. My uh. The little cartons. So I'm going to take some chicken broth from the can. Pour that in my measuring cup. Oops, just made a little boo-boo. That is two cups. Put that over in here. Now, remember, two cups of chicken broth, one cup of water. Again, if you do not have a... If you don't have a water softener system, you need to use bottled water. Or um, if you do have a water softener system, then you can use tap water like me. If not, then use one of them filter. If you have a filter on your tap, then do that. Or you have the pitcher filter, and I have that as well. Do that. Okay. Uh, so I'm you. I, I used. This is a what's left of a large onion. It's about. A quarter of a large yellow sweet varasta onion. I am dicing this and we're going to throw this into the pot and allow it to. And I'm large dicing it. It doesn't have to be pretty and sexy. And, mm, mm, it don't have to be none of that, okay? Just cut, chop, chop the shit up. Throw it, throw it on over in there so it can cook, okay? 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 Everybody get ready, she said. It's time to shoot. Now, one other thing I need to tell you, as that cooks, that cast iron is going to get hot. Have you a, what do you call it? Pot holder. So that you can't, because it's, it's, it's all cast iron, even the lid. Have you a pot holder? So that you can pick the lid up and down when you need to pick it up and down. Uh, or when you need to open it, so on and so forth. All right, shot time. I'm ready now. I'm sorry, I had to get um, just a couple more ingredients for the last part of this. Uh, ta -da, ta -da. Oh, I got some of that. Wait, fuck a time. Fuck a time. Fuck a time. Fuck a time. All right. All right. I can't be drunk in church, so I ain't getting too litty. All right, two, six. Hey, we adults, everybody talk about it. Don't look at me, don't judge me. Love, money, and thugs. Pot holders, thank you. Sex, love, money, and thugs. No, here's to prosperity to your melanin in your skin, to being phenomenal, to being amazing, to knowing that you are royalty, and to knowing that nobody would be here without your genuine melanin. To you, king. To you, queen. Salud. Salud. Mm.
Mm. Oh snap! Mm. 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 Wow! I love you guys. One time for the one time. Hey! All right, we are done in eight minutes, so let's get our. Oh, I love you guys too. Let's get our our bread on in this oven, okay? What we're about to do right now. What we're about to do right now. You ready? You ready? We are going. Remember yesterday when we did our turkey croquettes? We made a pesto sauce. We made a pesto sauce. We are going to make a little bit more to cover what we're about to put in the oven. So we made ours instead of with um, the traditional basil, we made it with parsley. However, we are going to go back. And we are going to make today with the what we had left from yesterday. We are going to make with some Thai basil. And you need a food processor or you need a blender. So we're going to make with some Thai basil. We're going to make with a little bit more parsley because we used a large amount of this yesterday. Um, well, we ate it and then I played it with it. So we are going to use some parsley. I do not want to overpower the Thai basil. So, I am using extra virgin olive oil. I usually use uh, Bertoli, but this is Violi, and it's still as good as Bertoli. You need about a tablespoon, okay? All right? You need about a teaspoon of lemon, okay? Where am I? I also add grapeseed oil. I have only been able to find this in Pompeii. Pompeii. I have only been able to find this in Pompeii. I, if I can find it in another brand, I'll let you know. Even Lowry's McCormick, I haven't been able to yet. So we use a teaspoon of that. Now, I am adding some Goya Saison. Goya Saison. And yes, I know the CEO endorsed Trump. Like a dumbass. Uh, but, and we went on strike from using it from the show for a little while, however, uh, now that we are getting rid of Trump, I am back to using something that I like. We are going to add three cloves of garlic into this, one, two, three, I might add a fourth depending on the flavor in just a second, and last but not Baby, baby, baby. We are gonna add some a very little lemon pepper. Okay, I had to make sure some came out. I just like my pesto seasoned. Uh, typically, you don't add the seasonings that I added, but I do like mine seasoned. And so, therefore, I added the seasoning that I wanted. I keep forgetting to put this daggone blade in here. So, hold on. We're going to take our cup off and put our blade in. You got in a food processor, if you're using a blender, you don't have to go. Well, well depending. If the blade is built in, then you don't have to go through this. If the blade is not built in, then you'll have to go through this. Um, but definitely in a food processor, you will have to make sure that that blade is in there first. <laughs> All right. Mm, beautiful. Yummy. Yeah, You want to dye your hair blonde? You, okay. You don't put chemicals. Okay. Wow. And then we just do this. All right. Four minutes to go. Let's get it in. Now, while that's happening, get you some butter. Okay. Beautiful. 
All right, I bought some French bread. Buy you a roll. You can buy ciabatta. You can buy French. Whatever works for you. I'm going to buy French. I'm not. Oh, that didn't look right. Nope, just playing. All right. I'm going to cut just about a quarter off because we eat a lot of bread. Move this out my way real quick. And I am going to cut lightly pinching just like that, okay? I'm gonna take the stick of butter that I have left out to get to room temperature. You laughing at me? And you can rub it, but if it's too soft, you may, nope, I'm still good. So just lightly rub it, just rub the tip. No, mm -mm. I'm like Deadpool, something's wrong with me. All right, just like that. All right. Well, what happened there? Now, we are going to take mm. I think it was the light. My bad. I think it was a light trying to overheat my iPhone. So take your sauce and rub it around on the bread, onto the butter, onto the bread. Put as much as you would like. I like it juicy, so to speak, but it crisps up while it is in the... You know what? I got to take this out of my way. All right. Hold on. All right. All right, we're going to put these in the oven right now. We are going to be five minutes over the hour. And then we will be, oh my God, it tastes so good. Mm. And we'll be ready to go. So just like that. All right. All right, let's get this in. Set our timer for five minutes. Let me give our soup a stir. And it looks and smells Amazing. Perfect. All right. And now, my love. What up, Mr. Weaver? What up, Miss Austin? I am sorry I didn't see you guys. I didn't even turn you guys. My bad, my bad. What up, Mr. Weaver? Um, that is another one of our essential and frontline workers and military. So accol acc accolades to Mr. Quantes Weaver. He is out of Atlanta, Georgia, United States Army Reserve. An amazing man and friend whom I absolutely love. Super dope. I'm sorry to book a face. It decided to do something weird. It just cut off. It literally just cut y'all off. So we got our bread in the oven. Our timer is on. Damn, really? Already? A little bit. About three minutes and some seconds. We're going to let that cook. Our uh, soup is almost done. It's ready. Well, no, our soup is ready. Let me rephrase. Our soup is ready. It is super ready. But we got to wait for our bread to get out. And we're going to go ahead and plate. And I'm going to wind up making some more bread. That's why I still got a little pesto left. Oh, my God. It is so good. Best part about pesto is you can eat this without doing anything else. You can have the bread to tear off and dip in it. You can culture bread with it. You can even um, use, like, a tortilla 
I've used rice with pesto. You can do all the above. Um, but it's very good. For, it's flavorful without anything else. And that's the best part about it. Are y'all ready to do this shot? Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? All right. We got three minutes left. Nope, two, well, two minutes, 41 seconds. Left on the clock for the bread. So let's go ahead and do the shot. Y'all ready? And I'm going to make sure our soup is doing good. Ooh. Right up my nose. <laughs> right up my nose. So we got our one clove in there. Um, we got all our seasonings in there. They're coming together. They're marrying very well. We are going to go ahead and start drinking again because we got to take a shot to end the show, which we're going to do in two minutes. And we got to take a shot right now. What better way than to continue drinking? And my Bible start, study technically starts when the show is supposed to end. But I'm trying to end early so I can be sober. No. Mm -mm. Um aware while during Bible study. Y'all ain't going to get me. The devil's a lie. The devil's a lie. You heard what it said. Zalo, oh, she, oh, she said, um, I'm eating the festival. I'm going to talk. But baby, this is good. Mm -mm. Hold on. Don't, hold on. Wait. Let me just, hold on. Baby. Mm. Mm. One more. Hold on. Wait. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm done now. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. That's good. Hold on. There's one more. more. That is, look, it's a whole nose ring before anybody asks me. That's a whole fat ass pimple. That is a whole nose ring. I don't know why it keeps falling to the bottom and look like a booger in my nose. Y'all see it? It's all nose ring. Okay. Everybody's like, oh my god, you got a booger hanging out of your nose. Oh my god. No. Motherfuckers, this is a nose ring. Alright, let's do the shot. Mmm. What am I drinking? Can I do tequila? Do I have to do vodka? I'm all out of rum. So, it's either tequila... Or vodka. Can I can I do tequila? Can I do tequila? Are y'all okay if I do tequila? I need a yes or or a no or a maybe so. It's up to y'all. I wait. Let me just drink some of this. Was that a yes? Which part were you laughing to? Perfect. Hello. All right. So can I do tequila? Was that a yes? Hey, Mr. Child, how are you? Can nobody is tell? Can I take a tequila shot this time? Okay. Thank you. She told me. What I do with my shot? Wait. <laughs> All right. Sai, your personality is too much. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, y'all. We about to take our shot. I don't. Okay. But we got Tamika. No excuse zone, Alberta Jones in the building. My sister. My friend, Army veteran, uh, an Army wife retiree, also the owner of No Excuse Zone. You can find her and subscribe and like and like and subscribe, YouTube. Don't play with me today. You can find her on YouTube. She is under No Excuse Zone J. You can find her on Instagram. She is under No Excuse Zone J. Jones, you can find her right here on the book of face. She is absolutely amazing. My friend, my gal, my ace going cool. Let's ride. I'm coming. All right. Okay. All right, Tanya. You see the one I'm drinking. 
Girl, I got to buy this one again. It is worth the price. They were two for nineteen. Yeah, two for nineteen or twelve one. And this the portable tradition. I am so drunk. No. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's the reposado. Yeah. Mm, so lit. Buzz. Not drunk. Buzz. It is the reposado. It is the reposado. My apologies. Hold on, let me stir. Okay, thought I smelled it. So it is the reposado. It is Jose Cuervo, this little bitty skinny bottle, but it is, which is rare to find in tequila. It's 100% agave. It is 100% agave. Most tequilas are not 100% agave, so to find it is rare. Um, there's one other one that does it, has a skeleton on the label, not, not, not the skull, not, their bottle is not the skull. It's a regular, it's a traditional bottle, but on the label there's, it's like, um, Dia de Muertas. It is, it has like, it looks like, um, the day of the dead on the label. It has like all the, it has the skeleton face and all that. It's a very decorative label. I can't remember their name. Do I have a bottle up there? I don't. Um, but they do 100% agave. 100% agave tequila is one of the strongest, and it is amazing. All right, y'all ready? All right. Uh, so we're ending now. It's time to plate the food or bowl the food. And we will be putting in, which bowl do you think? But this is to everybody having a beautiful Christmas holiday. Um, this is to, I can't even find my other damn bowl. This is to you guys supporting me. This is to, again, hoping that we get this deal with Laurie's McCormick for sponsorship. That would be amazing. Keep your fingers crossed. This is to you guys being here and rocking with us each and every time. So this is to you. This is to you. This is to we. All three of us. Here at the Drunken Puerto Rican Chat. Y'all ignore the big ass pimple on my face. Let's go. Salud. Oh. Ooh. All right. So it is time to play our food. Now, I like an extra bit of cumin and coriander in the bottom, just kind of dusting it. Um, even though we've already put a teaspoon to a tablespoon in there i like that extra flavor at the bottom thank you because i need it we're gonna uh we're gonna video right after we get off right after we uh hang up from here i like that in the bottom it gives that soup an extra bit of body that you could not imagine that clove that we put in there that one clove and those two bay leaves already give it a a, a different type of aroma, different type of savoriness, a different type of body, but this, baby, when you add this on top, you'll see. Wait. Now, ooh, our bread, beautifully charred, you don't want it too hard. You want it just hard enough to cover the outsides and char the top where your pesto is. Don't pinch your sides because you're really not trying to get it to crush it and you want to leave the dexterity of the bread. Take this. Use a, lot, a ladle. Y'all know a ladle. 
a ladle, a sunken down spoon with a scoop, a ladle. This bowl can hold two ladles. Don't do any more than that, okay? Just two. Now, I'm a little bit extra with plating. I go above and beyond. I like that extra mile. I need it to be something that they remember. Y'all know, everybody on here that I've cooked for before, y'all know. I like it to be something that you will be like, yo, can you do that for me again? What's the recipe? Damn, that shit was good. So I add, just to be just a little cocky. See about that much? It's not even, it might be a full teaspoon of butter. I leave it right there on top. I don't stir. I place. Okay? Okay. Now, I like to garnish, so I'm, I'm using a little bit of my extra parsley. And I'm just going to mince that up lightly. I'm also going to use a splash of red pepper and Goya for color, color, just for effect, just as garnish. That red makes it pop. Got some wet ass. Never mind. I didn't say that. From the, to the, just sprinkle, sprinkle, bam. Oh, sorry, that's owned by Emma Lagasse. I do not own that. I did not mean to infringe on his stuff. I leave that there. I take my parsley. Because I don't want my bread. I don't want my bread wet until I make it wet. That doesn't sound right. I am literally going to cut into it and garnish my bowl with my bread like we do a drink, okay? And isn't that beautiful? Look at it. That's the outside piece. That's the end piece. Tell me that's not pretty. Tell me that's not pretty. Tell me that's not pretty. But we are going to cut from the inside piece. To make sure that we allow our client or our customer to wet the bread when they see fit. And that, my darlings, it's how you repurpose your Thanksgiving turkey into a red potato soup. You want to see? Y'all want to see? Up close and personal? Because I can't like tilt the plate up. Like I normally would tilt the plate up to you guys. I can't do that right now. Oh! I'm almost drunk, babe. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm tipsy. I'm tipsy. I'm tipsy. I'm trying not to be drunk. Y'all, Mr. Rob, uh, I'm sorry, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Mr. Rob, MVP Williams in the building, baddest mixologist you have ever met. If you guys have any event, you need to contact him. He is out of Arlington, Texas. When I say the man is amazing, you can find this man on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and I'm pretty sure you can find him on TikTok doing the mix Tiki Talkies. Listen, I'm a mama. I don't know too, at the terminology, but I'm ticky talkies, whatever they call. But I'm sure you can find them. Um, can you post your information real quick so I can pin it and then type it over here? Um, 
If you guys need him, he is the baddest in the game. He is sexy as hell. I mean sexy. Listen, I am a connoisseur of beautiful black men. I am a purveyor of beautiful black men. I love them. They're like work of arts. When you when, listen, when you when you put the clothes on them, when you take the clothes off of them, when you stare at them from a long shot, they they listen, listen, baby. Mm. They just make your mouth water. It just does a body good. Black men do a body good. <laughs> You can find <laughs> you can find him out in Arlington, Texas, at the what is the Hotel de Playa? IG, that's what the other one was. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all robbed MVP Williams. You can find him in Arlington, Texas, at nine hundred East. Oh, let's. We gonna put an old woman's uh, memory to uh, to the test, and okay, that's what we doing right now. Think about it. What up, Mr. Glasgow? You still ain't hit me up. I don't want to talk to you. Glasgow. Mr. Glasgow, don't nobody want to talk to you. You still ain't hit me up. All that girl, Tanya, 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 Tanya. I know you be grieving. She's grieving because she lost my cousin. She's grieving. And when you're married a couple of decades, that hurts. But, but he's something good to look at. <laughs> PYT Social Lounge, 900 East Copeland Road, Arlington, Texas. They just recently had Bow Wow there, and it was a... Listen, I'm not gonna be uh them crazy uh white people reporters. It was it was the shit. Like it was fun. It was fun. You got to get down. If you old like me and you just wanted to be a little bit young again, it was dope. Why does this keep making me look fit and I'm not fit? I'm not feeling it. Uh I do still got no, 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 I do not have my Kansas number anymore. Um I'm gonna call you off of here. And give you that. I do not have that. My Kansas number was 785-375-6705. My current number is 210-712-7257. And no, that's not the alcohol talking. It is also my business number. So I do not mind giving it to you guys one live. Doesn't bother me. Um, I deal with stupidity all the time. So we, we know how to ignore it. But again, if you need me, 210-712-7257. All my contact information. Girl, use them eyes. Look this man up. Go to his page. <laughs> and look him up. I'm not playing. You will say, look, every, listen, the men that I be calling out when they come into this show, why do you think I be calling them out? These men be like, listen, and I, uh-uh, hold on, before anybody... Dang it, y'all gonna make us take the whole hour and a half. Before y'all, uh-uh. I don't discriminate. I like them big. I like them thick. I like them small. I like them muscular. The, I like them black. B-L-A-C-K. Black. That's the way I like them. Mommy, okay. Huh? Your Apple ID, what's going on? What are you trying to download? Game. What game are you trying to download, King? It's a dragon game. What dragon game are you trying to download, King? Little game. Oh, Dragon Mons AR Battle. Little King, put down. Put down, Big King. You can't. That's your big brother. Put him down. Here. All right, take that. Take it. Take it. Your soup is almost ready. Okay. Oh my God. I love my food. Um, listen, I mean, they be, I don't, I like them. I, as long as they black, baby, black in you. 
a quarter an ounce i'm with it i'm with it dear god and no i am not a racist i very much should be according to but i am not according to things i've gone through in life i should be but i'm not i enjoy everybody i just enjoy sleeping with No, okay, okay, stop, stop, and it's start. Where stop? Stop. Okay, you guys. Let me type this in so you guys have it. P Y T Social Lounge Nine Hundred East. Copeland, Arlington, Texas, as or Rob MVP Williams. We're checking the car because I didn't have phone. Okay, you took the alarm off the house so it doesn't scream loud. Okay. All right. So let me see. Messing with me. Leave me alone. All right, this is our final product. This is our turkey and red potato soup with our pesto French bread. What do you think? What do you think? Are we good? No. Um, you guys can see from over there, so let me move. What do you think on the tube of Yuba? All right. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Uh oh, uh oh. I lost you. I lost you. Stay with me. All we did was go to the car. What am I doing? How are y'all What the hell? Am I messing something up? I am trying to maneuver this stand, baby. This is a lot. All right. I'm glad it looks good to you. Let's go ahead and take the shot and get out of here. Because my Bible study starts in five minutes. And whether y'all believe it or not, even with my fucking potty mouth, I'm still a child of God. Yes, he loves each and every sinner. Okay. And I am such a fucking lady. And I'm such a fucking sailor. I was married to two. Curse like one because I earned my stripes. The battle stripes I went through. Okay. Don't judge me. All right. So let's get ready to go. Let's get ready to go. Let's do our in shot for the show. Get ready. Y'all know what to do. Find, we have seen, Ms. Tamika, no excuse, Alberta, no excuse zone, Alberta Jones. Find her on Instagram for no excuse zone Jones. Find her on YouTube for no excuse zone J. You can find RJ Heard, the comedian, on TikTok, on TikTok, RJ Heard. You can also find RJ Heard the Comedian on Facebook. RJ Heard the Comedian. Or look him up on YouTube. Riot the Comedian. Also look for Rob Mr. MVP Williams. He is at the PYT Social Lounge. You can find him on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. All at Rob MVP Williams. PYT Social Lounge. Social Lounge. Social Lounge. I told y'all I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Uh, PYT Social Lounge, 900 East Copeland Ave. Nope, East Copeland Road, Arlington, Texas. And you can find him there all the time. Baddest mixologist you've ever met. Ever, ever, ever met. Um, who else am I missing that pops in the show today? That I need to represent. I'm Mr. Rico Armstrong. 
if you are in the state of Tennessee, Tennessee, hey, another, take me to another, okay, never mind, I'm giving away my age, leave that alone, um, I don't own the rights to that YouTube or Facebook, <laughs> you can find Mr. Rico Armstrong, Memphis, Tennessee, Mr. Quantez Weaver, Quantez Weaver is out of Atlanta, Georgia, United States Army Reserve, still currently serving and protecting you. Mr. Rico Armstrong out of Memphis, Tennessee, firefighter and EMT and paramedic. Send them your accolades. If you're in their moment, their town, their second, stop by and just say hi. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Do this shot. Miss Tanya, bitch in. You got to get on this car. Call. That's it. Y'all not going to have me in Bible study. Fucked up. Travis Glasgow. I will talk to you as soon as I am with Ms. Batchin. All right, let's end the show. At least on the regular time. Damn it, I was hoping we was going to be the normal time. But let's go. From you to me. From me to you. Shall it always be just us two. Salud. 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 Oh, one more thing before I go. Anybody sees my mother, Robin Swiney, on Facebook? Wish her a happy birthday. Her birthday was December 1st. Also, oh, also, I have drank too much this show. Also wish her sister, her twin sister, my Aunt Rosalind, who passed away the day after their birth. Um, on December 2nd. Please wish my Auntie Rosalind a happy birthday as well. And yes, my sister carries her name and her legacy into the 20th century and my daughter carries her name. My sister carries her first name and my daughter carries her middle name into the 21st century. So if you see my mother, just wish her an amazing um, Bible study. Bible study. Look, Tanya, stop. Just admit, just wish my mother an amazing birthday and her sister an amazing birthday, her twin, Rosalind. Rosalind Bonita, which is my sister Rosalind and my daughter, Alicia Bonita. Um, and all the prayers you can send. So now with that being said, I'm done. Let's do the shot for it. From you to me. From me to you. Shall it always be? Just us two. Salud. 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 Tanya, call me now. Travis, I'll call you as soon as I'm off with her. See you guys. Oh, I'm out.